In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to uh, create uh, event firing mechanisms so that uh, you can use uh, things other than just your traditional events for, uh, for creating different uh, behaviors within your app. So for instance, uh, one of the things that I want to do is, uh, so I want to demonstrate um, uh, something that looks like this, where if I type in a name, it's just or any other string, um, so let's try, uh, I'll try type in Lucas, and nothing basically happens with uh, the text field, but if I type in Jerry, then I get a, an alert that says, hello, Jerry. So there's um, essentially what I want to be able to do here is uh, be able to fire an event uh, whenever the name Jerry is encountered in, in the text field. Okay, so let's do this. Um, I need to create my, uh, my window. Actually, I already have the basics of that here. Um, what I want to do is create uh, a couple of event handlers. I'm going to start with creating this, uh, this text field in my window. Create. Ah. Autocorrect. Create text field. And when I do the following properties, I'm going to make it 30% width, color, actually I'm just going to do top, set to 20, and I need to have a border style with this, and I'm going to use rounded border style. And let's see, so I need to have um, two event handlers for this text field, one of them for when I hit return um, so that the keyboard goes away, and then another event handler for when the value within the, uh, within the text field changes. Okay, so let me add those. So text field, add event listener, and actually let me do this. I'm gonna copy and paste this, actually, let me do the, um, yeah, I need two of these. The first one is uh, going to handle the change event, and the change event, let's look at this, the change event happens whenever uh, the field value changes, so uh, what we're going to do in that event handler then is evaluate uh, this value to see what uh, what the value is when it's uh, uh, when the user is typing. So let me put my function in here, and uh, I'm going to do the following. So if e dot value is equal to Jerry. I'm going to uh, fire an event. So fire event. And I'm going to call this event my event. And I'm going to pass along some data to it. So my data. Uh, and the data that I want to pass along is going to be a um, JSON string. So I'm going to create that my data equals Let's say first name. Actually, let's do it as message. Hello, Jerry. Uh, and I can actually have other things uh, that I put into this uh, this data that I pass along. Uh, it essentially just has to be a key value pair. This this piece being the key. This piece being the value. And I'm just going to put an ID in here. I'm not actually going to use it, but I'll. Just put it in there anyway. Okay, so that's the data that I'm going to pass along when the event is fired. Um, I have I need another event listener for making sure that the uh, keyboard goes away. Um, 
So I'm going to do return. The keyboard just needs to go away whenever the user presses uh, return. So we'll do text field blur. All right. So now what I need to do is create um, a handler for this event, um, and I've created. I'm firing this event against the window, so the window is uh, is the uh, entity that needs to handle that event. So let's create that event listener. And I'm going to be listening for my event. And what I'm going to do in this uh, handler is I'm going to um, just display whatever the message was that was um, passed along. So I'm just going to do alert. And then uh, actually just e dot message. All right, so I need to um, make sure I add the text field to my window uh, so that it'll appear. And let's see. So that's uh, that's pretty much everything. Actually, let me first start off with doing nothing here with this event handler, and I'm just going I'm just going to display a message. Info. I'm going to display um, let's see event encountered let me run that okay so my simulator should come up here in a second Okay, so here's my um, application, and if I type anything in here, nothing happens, but if I type in Jerry, uh, event encountered. So at that point, that's when I want to fire my event. So let's do that and get rid of the, the comment, and I'll run the application again. So while we're waiting for that to compile, um, again, so if I, uh, if I type into that text field and I see the name Jerry, then uh, we're going to fire an event. The event that's fired is my event. Uh, we have this listener that will uh, listen for that event and then just display that as an alert. So let's type in Jerry, and then we get that... Uh, and get that alert. So, anyway, that's uh, that's the basics of how event um, events work um, with uh, being able to fire events. I can also create application level uh, event handlers and application level um, um, and fire the events against the application. Uh, th that would end up being essentially a global event handler. Um, which essentially works the same way. Uh, actually, let me change this event handler to a, uh, a global event handler. Um, I can do ti.api. Actually, it's app. Dot add event listener. And uh, when I fire this event here, I can fire it against, uh, let's see, ti.app fire event. Uh, this essentially then uh, makes this into a um, a global event uh, and a global event listener, and I can put that uh, this event listener anywhere on my program. If I just do it up against uh, against Win, which I did um, to begin with, uh, then what happens is that uh, only the event is only directed to the window and not directed to the entire application. Uh, but other than that, that's that would be the only difference. Um, uh, and obviously, there are times when you want to 
Uh, so you want to make the event um, something that happens through, across the entire application versus events that are directed to specific windows. So anyway, that, uh, that concludes this lesson. Um, the uh, event handling, both firing events and listening to events, is a big way for, or is the primary way of, of being able to uh, make your applications reactive to um, user uh, interactions. Uh, and much of what you will do with uh, creating your apps will involve the use of these event listeners.